Okay, so in this video, I'm going to tell you how to fix the this application can't be opened error you get if you download certain games or applications on a Mac. So here is an example. I've found this game from the GitHub Game Off entry and I want to play it on a Mac. There is a Mac download available here. Speaking of GitHub Game Off, we have actually entered a game into that and you can go ahead and find that game here. I will put a link to that in the description. If you're interested, go, please go and play our game. Anyway, so I've got this game, well, it's quite good, and I want to play it on a Mac. Here is the game. I double click and I get this error, which is annoying, but there is a simple fix. All you have to do is go into your terminal. So I've got this up here. I'm using something called iTerm2, but your default Mac terminal should work fine. First, we need to find out where our game is. So I know mine is on the desktop. So I'm going to change directory into the desktop. And essentially what we're doing is changing the permissions of one of the files. So let me show you that here in the finder. If I were to open the game by right clicking and showing package contents, you would see that in the contents Mac OS folder, this is the executable of the game, but it's not actually showing up as an executable. We don't have permissions to do that. So that's what we're going to fix in the terminal. So now that we're in the same directory as our game, which is the desktop, we're going to write a command, which is chmod plus x, which means we're going to change the permissions of a certain file into an executable. We'll type in the name of our game. We'll go into the contents folder and then the Mac OS folder. And then the file we want is called Moth's Blood. In our case, the name of this file has no special characters or spaces. But if you do have a file that does have those things, you should use the quotation mark like so. And of course, I've spelt Moth's Blood incorrectly. So let's fix that now by removing this random N. And there we have it. If we go back into our directory, our file is now an executable. And if we go into the game and double click, of course we have to allow permissions. So we'll do that now. If we go into the system preferences and go into the privacy and security or security and privacy, allow it to open the game and voila, we should have it running like so. So that is how you fix the, this application can't be opened error. If you found this helpful, please let me know in the comments below. As usual, give this a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.